Four veterans of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan died this past week from what appeared to be self-inflicted gunshot wounds at Fort Hood in central Texas, raising the toll of so soldiers who died there at their own hands to a record level and alarming Army commanders. So far this year, Army officials have confirmed that 14 soldiers at Fort Hood have committed suicide. Six others are believed to have taken their own lives, but a final determination has yet to be made. The highest number of suicides at Fort Hood occurred in 2008, when 14 soldiers killed themselves, said military spokesman Christopher Huag. This year's suicide rate at the base is about four times the national average. The largest base in the United States, Fort Hood and the surrounding communities have suffered high rates of crime, domestic violence, suicide and various mental illnesses, as wave after wave of soldiers have been deployed abroad over nine years of continual warfare, often serving more than one tour. Last November, an Army psychiatrist, Major Nidal Hassan, was charged with killing 13 people with a pistol in a rampage at a building on the post. Advocates for soldiers who have suffered mental breakdowns say suicide prevention programs on the base are not effective. Cynthia Thomas, who runs an organization of anti-war activists and veterans who provide referrals for soldiers to mental health professionals, says a stigma remains among soldiers about seeking help from Army counselors for suicidal thoughts or other mental problems, and that those soldiers who do seek counseling are often given medication and put back on duty. She said, quote, these soldiers are breaking. 